What's up guys, welcome back to The Vault. Uh, today I'll be giving my review for Incredibles 2. Da -da 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 -da. Let's just jump straight into it. Uh, this one opens pretty much where the first film uh, left off uh, with our Incredibles family facing off against the Underminer. Um, now, pretty much most of the cast uh, returns for this one. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, who plays Frozone, brings his cool acting talent that he's so well known for. Uh, then there's Holly Hunter, who once again returns, uh, perfectly embodying the, the badass that is Elastigirl. And we once again get Brad Bird voicing the sassy costume designer Edna. There are also, also some uh, new additions, uh, mainly Bob Odenkirk, who I think has the perfect voice for voiceover work. I mean, everyone involved uh, really suited their characters and the voices of their characters. Um, the story uh, progresses on really well from the first film. Uh, whereas the first film was more about world building, the second one uh, is primarily focused on uh, 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 a story about that world. Um, mainly uh, having our superheroes deemed uh, illegal by the government. And this uh, kind of takes narrative from uh, from real life, uh, having, our super having our heroes um, wear body cams, much like police officers now have to do. There is uh, some humour, however, uh, most of the laughs come from Jack-Jack uh, as he uh, is realising his new powers. It's just a very well-crafted and exciting uh, story. Uh, the animation is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Pixar has always been miles ahead in terms of its uh, in terms of its animation, much more so than some uh, film studios. Uh, but they really uh, really knocked out the park uh, with this one. Uh, one beautiful scene that that springs to mind is a runaway train chase uh, scene uh, that's set in the middle of dusk, and it's just the colours and dark hues used that just make it so impressive. Um, the score is once again phenomenal. It's unique because it's such a mashup of various uh, superhero themes and, and spy thrillers. Uh, it's very much uh, Batman meets Bond. Uh, and this is fitting because the setting uh, of the film is also a mashup of 40s, 50s uh, style kind of era uh, and futuristic technology. It's very original. Um, my only issues with this film overall uh are that the villain's um main motive and and plan to me just seemed a little weak that and as as enjoyable as the story is it, it didn't feel as fresh or original uh, as the story from the first film other than that though it is a fun enjoyable film that anyone can enjoy and the main lesson i learned from this film was that no matter how old i am uh, i will always wish for superpowers so there we have it. There is my review for Incredibles 2. Let's get down to the two most important questions. Question number one, would I recommend this film? And yeah, I, I definitely would. If you enjoyed the first film, uh, you know, then I would say go and watch this film because you, you will you will enjoy it. And if you've got now got kids that weren't around when the first film was, was out, Show them the first film, I guarantee they'll be excited uh, for the second one. Uh, you know, Pixar just always impresses, so yes, I would definitely recommend this film. Question number two, does this film belong in the vault? Um, I wasn't going to put this film in the vault because uh, the story wasn't as kind of uh, uh, attention-grabbing or thrilling as in the first film. But this film is still enjoyable. It's still funny. It's still it's still you know uh, uh, something you can enjoy with your family, your friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in the vault. There is that little diamond star right there, and it's gone away. You know, Dash has run away with it to wherever it goes. Um, I will uh, aim to put up a review analysis of the first film at some point soon. It's incredibly busy at the moment, but that is my review for Incredib Incredibles Two. Uh, if you've seen the film already, guys, and you liked it, let me know why down in the comments below. If you didn't like it, again, let me know why down in the comments below. Um, and if you like what I'm doing here, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with all your friends, family, dogs, cats, birds, whatever. Uh, and until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.